So yeah, sorry, back to what she was saying. Yeah, okay, so then um, the brother goes off to go smoke with his friends and leaves like the sister in the living room where like the general party is going on. And she's just like, okay, well, I don't know anybody. Like, I don't want to go home. He's just like, just go have a piece of cake. They don't know that a whole bunch of nuts basically made out of nuts, right? Yeah. She eats it and she's like, she goes up to the brothers like, I, my throat is like getting bigger. Like, so she feels her throat swelling up. So he tries to he take tries her, to, take to, her the to the hospital. And, and they live out in the middle of nowhere. They live out in the middle of nowhere. So like, there's no like buildings around. There's just like country. She sticks her head out of the window because she's grass, like she's begging for air and just like trying to like really breathe. She's so sh and then this is. I guess he was just so focused on like just freaking out to where he go. He gets to pole. He dr he's driving super fast. Her head is sticking out, and her head gets knocked off. She gets decapitated. No, that's not what happened. What? He sees a dead deer in the middle. Oh yeah, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. He sees a dead deer. So then she swerves, and but her head is still sticking out. And then the, but the pole like knocks her head off of her body. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, um, everything in this movie has a symbol of the necklace that the yeah, mother the and cult, the grandmother wore. The, the cult symbol. And, um, and yeah. And it pops so, up everywhere something bad happens. Yeah, so we'll fast forward through this because there's, like, a lot of content in this yeah. um, movie. Like, ugh. Um, so anyways, after the head falls off, they're... Like everything just just starts like spiraling. Going that very like fast. that was it. Like that um, was it. And you could tell that there was supposed to be like maybe an hour more of this movie mm -hmm. because like things go very quickly, and um, things get weird between the mother and Peter. Which I mean, it would be like, mm -hmm. like, I don't see a situation where the parent would be okay. Yeah, like whose whose fault would it be? You know. The person I mean, driving. I mean, I get it, but like, as a mother, like, you know. Oh, I mean, just like, well, what choice would you have? Like, who? It, well, I mean, I mean, it was her fault. Like, she forced her. She to did. Go for, out. I mean, it was all of their faults. Like, it was. But they're well, all trying to. He didn't do to... anything. Um, he didn't do anything. Like, he didn't mean for her to eat the cake. She ate the cake. She but he have, did leave her. But if alone. you know you have a allergic allergy to like peanuts, you you're not gonna ask somebody if there's peanuts in it. Everybody had their faults in it. Everybody. The peanuts. The little girl. She knew. I mean, she was old enough to know. Like, no, I'm not supposed to eat any nuts. The boy kind of abandoned the sister at the party. The mom forced the 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 brother to take the sister to the party. Like, it was just, it's just a very bad, broken family. So. Yeah. So, um, um, she meets this lady, and this lady's like, oh, you can talk to your dead child through this. Um, it's just, um, it was basically the like the whole. same concept as a Ouija board. Yeah, and it was so stupid, because it's like, why would you do that? But she does it. Yeah, she does and it. And everybody's like freaking out. They're like, oh, that shit is weird. Um, she Peter brings starts home, getting possessed. Yeah. Um, he starts doing, he starts contorting in school. Yeah. Um, and then we get to the point where we're nearing the end and that's when, um, the husband dies and he, he, um, just he gets burned gets because, burnt on fire. Just because, spontaneous um, combustion. Yeah. Like they throw was, a book in the fireplace. Yes. They throw a book in the fireplace. Yeah. And then he gets on fire. What? Yeah, so the point was, like, uh, he gets, like, she gives him the book, and she's like, oh, well, I got to burn it because um, this book, like, has everything about her, and um, it's it's connected to the demon or whatever, or to, to her spirit, and he's like, I got to, she's like, I got to burn it, and he's like, no, you're crazy, which, I mean, it's plausible, like, I don't, like, you would think she's crazy, too. And the way then, she acts in the movie. At this point, she's acting crazy. She's feeling crazy. Like, everything yeah. is crazy around her. So she, um, so she throws the book in there anyway. She's like, oh, fuck this shit. Like, I'm tired of, like, talking, trying to explain it to you. Mm -hmm. And it lights his ass on fire. And he's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> and I... Like, as the burn books... I mean, the burn... As the book burns, <laughs> he burns. 
the book. Even though he's not touching the book, like, just because of the whole magic and darkness of this film. And once, he, and then she's like, oh my god, like, she can't believe what she see, what he sees. And then at that point, she gets possessed. Well, she gets broken, like, because she yeah. just told him that uh, he is the love of her life, and he didn't know how to react to it. And, um, With well, that. he died, and then that happened. And then the next thing, you know, like, she's fucking f acting freaky as shit. This girl is not human no more, let me tell you. It was like the scene from uh, the beginning of, um, ooh, I can't remember the name this of it, but it's like this movie where, and shit. this movie about being afraid of the dark, uh, Tooth Fairy or some shit, I can't remember the name of it, but the beginning scene of this movie is so scary. Like, she's up in the ceiling but you can't see it because it's really dark and like the mom's like oh there's nothing there and she like just picks that motherfucker up and tears yeah, her but up. you see her though in this one yeah. in this movie you see her you see her but, she's, the, and but it's she's just fucking quiet like she I doesn't know. say she like, doesn't she doesn't move, make a noise like, she doesn't make a noise at all and the way she like crawls like along the wall like what is going on in? like the, the whole the whole I, uh, she's crawling through the air like, not even crawling on the wall at one point. She's just crawling through the air. How? <laughs> it was it's, freaky It's so shit. scary. To, it was like, and the whole theater was like, oh my god! What? Yeah. Scary. <laughs> the this whole one was screaming up a storm, but it yeah, was scary. a lot of the people in the theater were pretty And then up. he's over here like this, and, and she's like watching him as her son is sleeping. And he's just like, what the hell is going on? And he's walking through the house, realizing it's too quiet, but doesn't think to turn on a single light in yeah. this huge mansion that they're living in. I think if I was in that situation, I would have just jumped out the window and never came back. Like, fuck it. Like, this, I'm done with this place. Like, that's, it's too fucking weird. It was very uncomfortable. And then this, oh my God. And then... Naked people just start popping up everywhere, and it's just, and it's smiling at him, and it's like, what is going on? And then the the mom is like chasing White him. And old tits. That's oh god! <laughs> it starts chasing him up into the attic, and then the mom is like banging on the door because he with she's her like, head with her head. She's like boom, 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 like while she's upside down, just boom, boom. boom. It's just so. Oh my gosh! It was wild. And then um. So then we get to the end and basically you see that the ritual has finally finished and you see she like saws her head off with some type of wire. Something about decapitation in this film. Like this, it's a it reoccurring weird. thing. And then uh, like she saws off her head and then you see that the mother's head is sawed off. The grandmother's head is sawed off. And like they're And Charlie's like, head is, they, they went back and got her head. Yeah, it's all like, uh, like Yeah. It was gross. But... I'm not gonna lie, I I loved that movie. Like that movie was This movie really got you feeling some type of way, like Yeah, like I get I just wanna go to church. I get creeped out every time I see like a little darkness at, at the corner of my eye, like that's what's that? <laughs> nope, nope. Sleeping with all the lights on. Yeah. I mean it wasn't it wasn't scary when we got home, I guess, but The fear didn't stay with you? Not right away, no. No, not yeah. right away, but then later on you thought about it and yeah. it's like, oh, it's coming back. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, that movie, it did linger. It did. It Something about that movie lingers with you and it, oof, that movie is, un that director, man, they, they knew how to make you feel uncomfortable with all the angles and the way that they had the actors moving and the special effects that they had going on and all the crap and the, with the plot. And oh, just this movie. That movie, I feel like that movie would be a classic one day. Like at yeah. least as far as scary movies go, because they're like people are comparing it to The Exorcist, and honestly, this I feel movie, like The Exorcist is not that scary. Like, well, I mean, with special effects now, like, I feel like we can make much scarier movies. Yes. Yeah, but. But but was okay. But do you think this movie was scarier than The Exorcist? I don't. And at one point, there was like the, like the headless mom, the headless mother's body is just like floating into the treehouse. 
like, like a balloon. It's I like know. Weird. Like okay, there were some parts in this movie where like yes, it was like kind of like. It was kind of goofy, but it was like goofy, scary, and like the audience was like laughing. Like it wasn't meant to be funny, but like we just couldn't help but laugh at it because it just looked too goofy. Like what? The hell? Like why is it floating but, like but that? Yeah, as far as the comparison between the Exorcist and this, I can't really put them on the same thing because, um, I don't know. Like I just feel like they're two different movies, but. I don't feel like The Exorcist is scary, but I felt like this was scary, but I don't feel like it's As a paranormal scary. movie. It's, it's I'd say the, it's, it's like Exorcist. top 10, at least for me. It was, I think this one was pretty damn scary. I think so. Yeah, I'd say it's top 10. Because um, between this, The Conjuring, Sinister, and Exorcist, like, it's, like, it's, it's in there. there. It's in the mix. It's, yeah, it's well, set, I think it? it's set a new standard. <sighs> I think a lot of movies lately have set new standards. Yeah. Conjuring was the first to do it. Yeah. As of lately. Yeah. Um, I don't know, what would you rate it? Uh, I think I rated it a full price. Full price? What would you make it, what would you make, like, what would you improve? What mm. did you think? I would have been better. I kind of want to see that other hour that was uh, left out. Left out? There's another yeah. hour left out? Yeah. They said that the movie was supposed to be an hour longer. Really? Yeah. I, I Wait, on it. what? Like, what was what was supposed to be? I don't know. I just know that there's supposed to be an extra hour to the movie. This This movie felt long to me, though. It felt long, but like, like, like I feel like it was supposed to feel like that. Like I'm saying, okay, because of the, it, it's meant to make you feel uncomfortable. And there's scenes in this where they drag, I feel a bit too long, to where it's made to make you feel uncomfortable. And it's just like one bad event after another after another. I mean, not that it took away from the experience of the movie.